Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit and chop up your video um, because obviously when you cre create videos you make mistakes um, and you know you, you might have gaps in your video you might want to cut some stuff out that's the usual thing and um, Camtasia enable you to do that very very easily um, you don't need any super you know difficult editor to do this so um, taking this video again I'm going to um, split the video okay so what I do is if I'm, if I'm going through the video and I'm playing it at a certain point, say here, um, I want to make this point, guys, because this is a mistake that quite a few people might make. And it's a really, really simple thing to do. But even I did it in the beginning and I wasn't, I was like, what's going on? I wasn't really sure what was happening. But um, you want to always make sure you, you've highlighted the clip. So as you can see here, see it's gone grey. So nothing that I do to this clip will go on to the clip because it's not highlighted. So you always want to click on the clip whenever you're going to do something. So as you can see, once I click off it, this all grays out, which means I can't use them. But when I click on it, it comes up, okay? So if I wanted to cut the clip here, okay? I click the scissors, okay? And I've cut the whole clip. If I want to undo it, I go back. If I want to split the clip in half, say at this point here, I want to split it, I'll do it like that. And I've split it, as you can see. Okay, if, if, if there's a point in the clip where maybe I've you know the sound's gone wrong or someone's interrupted me or something's gone on or there's a you know something's going past outside making loud noises then what I can do is I can cut that out so I'd go over here I'd cut it out from here as you saw me cut and maybe it goes on for like a minute so I'd go around here something like that and I cut here as well okay and also if you've got audio beneath this then then click on the audio and do exactly the same thing because once you do it on here, the timeline, it's not going to automatically do it on the audio below. So do those two separately. Okay. So once you've done that, then click on that section that you just edited. Okay. You cut and delete it. And then drag that side across so it matches back up. Okay. So it's seamless. Okay. Very seamless. So um, next thing, if you wanted to say you're recording a tutorial at the end, um, there's a long um, silence or noise or something or you want to cut out a bit where you're ending the video and you don't want people to see you know what you're doing then go to the clip click on the clip and take the cursor or sorry this little line so I can't remember what this is called but take this little slider yes across to where you want it to stop okay then hover over the end of the clip and as you can see here I have and then what you want to do is you want to drag it across and stop when it gets when that line goes yellow it means you've stopped at that point where the line was so stop there and then that's edited sliced off that part that you didn't want okay right so very simple guys um, that is how you split chop you know, chop bits off the end or the beginning as well of the clip and um, it creates seamless editing as well um, if you wanted to add transitions let's go up here We can add call out. We can add title clips, I think. So if you took a title clip here, like this one, you can drag it into the timeline here. As you can see, it's in there. So if I just drag this to make it a bit bigger slide that back you can also whoops you can also add those onto there too okay let's just bring that back there so if I just play it you'll see what I mean so guys that's it and um, that's how you cut chop add a title in between your video to just make it more interesting. I hope you found that useful and I hope you actually use it on your videos. I will see you on the next video guys. Take care.